<laughs> oh no, it's raining. Oh, don't say that. The camera's oh. out. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm out with Mark today, as you saw walking in, he's just over there behind the camera. Uh, out in some snow, kind of. <laughs> There's a dusting here and there, we're supposed to get more tonight, though it does say snow and rain, so I doubt that'll settle. Um, Sub-zero temperatures today, and we're out in hot tents. Uh, I've got one I've not used before, and this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, so we've got some lovely food to cook up later as well. We've got a good chicken tikka, and um, we better get on with uh, setting up, really. Right, I think I've got to get my tent out the bottom because of the way I'm packed. Uh, so that's going to mean getting the sleeping bag out first. And there's the tent. So here's the tent. I believe it's called the Locomotive, something like that. It's like a tube tent by Pomoli. And they sent it to me a while ago. I just never got around to using it. So now it's cold again. Get out hot tenting, I might as well give it a go. Right, let's get this thing out. This tent is a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> Uh, you may hear a chainsaw in the background. Someone in the woods here is chainsawing. There's a boundary line over that way. Can't do anything about that. So I'll stick these in. Let's just stick the ends here in the tabs. Bloody chainsaws. <laughs> Sorry about that, there's nothing we can do. Um, I also just dropped my camera, if anything else could go wrong. I've broke the lens, it seems to be tracking, but I can't zoom in and out. It's come, come apart in two pieces, the whole um, sliding part come out. So yeah, gonna have to buy a new lens. This uh, tent is humongous though. Time to get the inner in. Hard to show you, but that's the inner in, all toggled up. They are quite tight, these toggles, which I suppose is a good thing. Got an aeroplane going over as well as the chainsaws now. Right. Yep, it's got the stove jack in there, that's good. My chosen stove for this outing. Didn't bring a folder because I couldn't fit it in the bag anyway, and uh, this is just as light. at the top of the chimney here and uh, I've made these wire kind of pullouts for the guys 
got that idea from um, Owen and um, yeah it just stops the um, cordage from melting close up and this is titanium as well. That's the stove in and I picked quite a long chimney, <laughs> but it's up. Look at the size of this thing, it is so long. I'm actually really looking forward to getting in it and it's pretty easy to put up as well. Mark's got um, a Pomoli uh, TP. TP's dead simple to put up, but then the most tricky to fettle and get exactly right, especially on uneven ground. It is, I'm still fettling. <laughs> fettling, fettling. Just time to set up the uh, sleep system now. All right, let's get the Leviathan sleeping bag in here. We were just looking at the stove in here and how it kind of comes quite far forwards. Um, I think it's more made for the square ones. Is it the Traveller or is this Traveller? I can't remember. Um, it would be great with one with a pipe on the front. It just encroaches on that space, that porch space for getting in and out of the inner of the tent a little. I mean, it's fine, it's doable. Probably won't light it till I'm properly in anyway. Right, that's the tent and all the sleep system and the stove set up in pretty good time actually. And other than an aeroplane, I can't hear any chainsaws. We won't mention that in case they come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, might have a quick break and uh, sit down and then collect a bit of firewood. Well, the same old uh, chair I've been using lately. I'm going to put one of these poles near my guy here so we don't yank my chimney down. There, yeah, that's quite visible. Mark's got his stove in and he has a much more sensible sized chimney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's not a mile long. Well, but mine's longer than yours. <laughs> yours is like the Empire State Building. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Ridiculous. up there in the trees. It's, it's so over the top, it's unreal. <laughs> Look at the size of it! Well, I got holes in the tent last <laughs> week, so I definitely won't this time. They will come over to you. Oh, yeah, great. Well, it's your tent. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that, it's already got a couple of holes in it. I feel it must be from a campfire I've had near it. It's been a couple of years since I've used this one. Time to cut a couple of poles for my tiny awning. All right, that is my awning up. Should uh, give me a little extra room for when it rains in the morning or overnight or whatever.
Most of this wood's going to be for the stove later on. Mark's collecting some more now and I think he's got some stashed. So I'm just going to batten some down just to make it easier lighting the stove. With my BPS knife. Warmed up a bit now. Soon cool down, <laughs> it's bloody cold. I've got my insulated trousers on and my big old jacket as well. Um, bit of a pain that the lens is broke. I'm pretty much stuck at the same focal length, or the same zoom in, but the um, focus seems to be working. It's a little shoddy. The whole end of the lens cap will come out. Also a bit worried that the inside is gonna condensate now that it's been open and moisture's got in especially in the morning and whatnot. But uh, it is what it is. It's gonna cost a fortune. <laughs> How many lenses and cameras and tripods and stuff have I broke over the years? <laughs> uh, Mark's just sawing over there somewhere, I can hear him. And uh, yeah, we'll process some more wood. Get a fire going, have a brew before we cook our Hello Fresh. Stay tuned for that as they've got a nice code. Them codes are good. <laughs> Here he is. Got some more wood. <laughs> Mark's got a tool in his hand. Oh, I have. <laughs> I'm not normally allowed sharp objects. Yes. <laughs> or power tools. Anything I can hurt myself with, really. <laughs> We've got a good, good pile going though. Look, big bit of oak. Nice. Shepherd hop. Gonna need it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty cosy in all this. Yeah, I'm I am at the, now. I am at the moment. Now I've got an extra jacket on. But. Hello. Someone's already got their stove going. <laughs> Looking oh. very cozy. Yep. Can a brew on for us. Yep. Need it. We've been out here hours and I haven't had a sniff of coffee, <laughs> let alone taste of it. And he's all about work, work, work. Got to work, work, work. Can't have any luxuries. Got to work. Can't have any breaks. Work then play. Do your homework before you go out you to be play with boss. your friends. You should be the boss or manager of the lithium mines. I'm your boss. <laughs> yeah. Down here is the stream that we filter water from behind camp. And this gigantic ash has come down, knocked down another ash on its way and taken a load of this U out as well and uh, yeah that's the exact spot where we were taking water so we can get it further down just need to dig out another hole this uh, water boiled yet? no nope. can you do something about that? fortunately not I can't make it boil any quicker it, it, it is what it is deal with it Cheers. At last. At last. <laughs> oh, me anti-murdery juicy juice. Oh. <laughs> Warm your cockles. Mm. Good. 
boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have this light the fire. Yeah. Because it's getting late and it's getting cold. It is getting cold, <laughs> yeah. I'm still hoping we get snow tonight. I think it's going to rain, not sleep. Mm, probably not. No. Right, I've got a couple of uh, wood walls and ferro rod. Get a couple of them lit as it is cold and damp. And some twiggies, and some smaller bits that I broke up, and load this on. Get some heat in there. Oh, I've got a bit of fat wood as well. Kindling Jenga. <laughs> it's so cold. Yes. Well, it's just my hands, really. I could have my gloves on, but mm. keep doing stuff. But, uh, Definitely going to need to make the fire bigger. Yes. Let's make this bad boy bigger. I'm so zoomed in with this lens. <laughs> I can't get it full wide. We're uh, starting to warm up. Mm. This fire is starting to put out some heat now. So we'll just get some coals and stuff before we do dinner. And I'll talk to you about that. And yeah, it's just warming through. It's getting dark now. As you can see the lights on. Just entering twilight. It's only four o'clock. Yeah. It's proper winter now. <sighs> Come early. Yeah. Official 2nd of December, we're in winter. Oh. Oh, got a few beers with me today, and they're from Tiny Rebel, who are kind enough to send me like a big gift pack, come with a glass and everything. They're a um, Welsh based uh, brewery, I think they were formed in about 2012, but have you know become quite big and. Um, yeah, I've had them on the channel before, but I've got here Punches of Pearl, which is Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe Pale Ale, and a Lemon Drop NEIPA. Sounds nice. 505. 505. They are very colourful. They are. So you can go with Lemon Drop. Oh, thank you very much. And I'll go with Citra. Lemon so called? Drop. Pinches of Pearl. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you and cheers, cheers to Tiny Rebel. Mm. Oh, cold beer. <laughs> yeah, cold beer on a cold night. <laughs> <laughs> that heat is... Uh, I'm yeah. so grateful for that heat. Right, like I mentioned, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh and they've sent some food along. I've got three meals and um, I spoke with Mark and he chose the ultimate chicken tikka and rice, which should look something like this when I've cooked it. Um, comes with uh, garlic coriander naan bread as well. Uh, HelloFresh have also given me a code for you guys. It's a free trial to their service. If you don't know what it is, you haven't seen me use it in the videos before. Um, it's a prepped meal that you cook. Um, they deliver to you every week. You select how many people, two, three, four, whatever. And um, they've got an absolute ton of menus to choose from. And I think this stuff is great for camping because everything's already portioned, so it's just so easy to do. Um, yeah, so tons of menus. You can opt out anytime. It's not one of them things that makes it impossible to unsubscribe and stuff. And if you want to give it a go, I've got a code. I'm going to read it off here. The offer this time is 60% off your first box. You can't really say fairer than that to try it out. Um, plus 25% off next two months. 
plus free gifts. Now that's things like drinks, chocolates, desserts, that sort of thing as well. Just use the code KSURVIVAL, all uppercase, and I'll put a link down below. I'm going to start this chicken tikka, so I'm going to have to prep a few things. I've got some garlic here, some shallots, some coriander, and some red chilli as well. So I'm just going to do them one at a time. And the owls are going mad here. <laughs> I'm going to leave the stalks on the coriander and just chop it right up. Good, them owls are going mad, aren't they? they are. right, I'm just going to do the chilli here. Not too much because of Mark's bum <laughs> <laughs> and my nose. <laughs> I like spicy food and mm. it, just, it just don't agree with me. <laughs> yeah, you liking it doesn't agree with me even. No. <laughs> yeah. Infamous chilli incident, do you remember that? Oh, I remember it well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's quite small. I'll do what the instructions say and halve the uh, shallots, which should make it easier to get the skin off. And we can just take the tops off there and thinly slice them. Right, and finally the garlic, just need to peel that and uh, chop it quite finely and then we can get to the fun stuff that's all our veg stuff our aromatics processed time to get cooking i need two pots for this so first off we're going to use marks for the rice and i've measured out according to this cup the right amount of water mm. and i'd normally wash this rice at home but this will be fine. Paper packaging straight on the fire. So we'll get that to the boil, give it a stir and then simmer it. So we add the shallots into some oil. Jesus, this is smoky in my face here. <laughs> Pushing them shallots down one side because this grill's a little wonky, so right down there. I've got a bit off piste with the menu here. I'm just gonna lightly fry off the chicken first, just brown it up a little bit before I put it in the pot. So a little oil in here and I'm going to put in half of that garlic, there we go, I'll put that chicken in there, got a little bit of colour on it, okay. quite a lot of food here. Mm. <laughs> Got the tikka masala paste, which I'm going to dump in. And tomato puree. One of them. And two of them. And there isn't a measurement amount of water, but I'm going to wing it. Give that a good old stir. Right, this is the first of two naans. We've got one each. And uh, just gonna spread on a bit of butter, which despite being next to the fire, is still pretty hard. That puts a nice color on it. And I'm going to put some garlic on it. Spread that out. And a little bit of coriander as well. We'll just toast them off quickly before serving. Boom, boom, boom. 
right i'm going to go in with some double cream here which is going to really make that a proper masala stir that round and heat that through and make a little room for our knots just go straight on the grill with the naans just toast them a little been sat steaming move that over there and the star attraction Ooh, looking good and it hasn't got that neon red color that you get in the takeaway looks good it does doesn't it so I've got some of them crispy shallots to go on there and a few red chilies and some nice coriander all the way over boom 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 looks good I'm looking forward to this well there's a little mad rush at the end there but it looks gorgeous it does it all does right look good try a little bit of that curry well, with a bit of the rice mm. Oh, it's really good. Mm. Crispy shallots are nice. Yeah. The shallots and the um, curry and the rice go really well together. Coriander brightens it up. Yeah. I was worried about this rice because um, it comes to the boil really quickly and I had to kind of pull it off, but it's perfectly cooked. Yep. yep. Bit of naan. Very nice. Mm. Nice one. Cheers, Andy. Cheers, Hello Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> A mm, bit of charring on the naan, perfect. Gonna get some more sauce actually. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit stuffed. It's the rice, isn't it? Seconds and I swear there's enough for another person there. Mm. Easily. Oh. I'm still going, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Determined. Whew. building this fire back up for some heat and to burn off a few leftovers as well I'm gonna try this uh, juice shack tropical session IPA obviously another tiny rebel so cheers again oh wow oh wow that's a <laughs> wow that is an unusual beer. It's like an IPA and it's got the fruitiness, but it's not sweet, the fruitiness. Very unusual. I'll pick some unusual ones to bring. <laughs> mm. It's nice. The more you drink, the nicer it gets. Right, one more beer. <laughs> it's a, a Hank, apparently. It's a Session IPA, so nice and simple. Let's uh, get that open. And cheers again. Get more wood on. Keep this nice and big and warm. <laughs> yeah. It's chilled down, isn't it? It's just my hands, really. This mm. coat and trousers are so warm. I'm actually warming up quite nicely side onto the fire. But your other side's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that spit roast pig that we did. <laughs> well, I've got some bad news. I've run out of beer. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to stay warm by the fire. Probably have a hot chocolate before going to bed. Which I'm quite looking forward to, getting that warmed up and yeah, ooh, getting cosy. Just don't want to get out of these clothes and into my thermals. <laughs>
as you can see, I'm in the tent here. The stove is lit, that's just starting to take nicely. I'm just going to heat it through really, get in the sleeping bag, let it burn out. Nothing, not going to keep it going for long. It's not late, late, but we're both quite tired actually. Been up very early all week, early today. So yeah, just a matter of getting cosy in my thermals and uh, getting some rest. Good morning everyone, it's about 7, still pretty dark, I think we've got about another 40 minutes or so before light, I thought I'd get the stove going, warm through a little bit, I'm still in the sleeping bag basically, <laughs> I don't think Mark's awake yet, so I'm just going to warm through, chill out for a bit till it gets light, it's literally just stopped raining, it's just been on and off all night really. But yeah, it's literally just stopped when I like lit the stove. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, whether I'm going to be cooking in here or out there. Just got up, brushed my teeth. Um, it's just lightly raining again now. But um, yeah, tent held up really well actually. Did a good job. Pretty roomy actually. Just gonna warm through again with a stove and uh, yeah, make a decision on breakfast. <laughs> I think I just heard Mark get up. Right, so the problem here is, because this is a hot tent, I didn't want to bring the food in here for breakfast. Just didn't want to warm it all through like that. And so hung the bag in a tree over there so no animals would get to it. But it's raining. Now I should have grabbed it when I brushed my teeth. But um, luckily it seems to be showers, so I'll wait for a break, dart for the food, come back and Pretty sure we're going to be cooking in here today. <laughs> okay, I've got some oil heating up in the pan here. I'm just going to load in some sausages. I've just put some wood in so the flame's a little low right now. In a wonky pan on a wonky stove. Do a bit of bacon now, if I can get the rashers apart. It's egg time. Ok, 
Okay, here's breakfast. Mark's just come and collected his. I'm just going to put a bit of ketchup on, of course. Bacon's nice and crispy. Is it? Breakfast was really nice actually, considering it wasn't that much. Should have brought some bread or something, really. The camera's so far away from me, but it looks so close because of the broken lens. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this down me. It's not raining again yet. Clean up the inside of the tent and then determine whether it's safe to go outside. I've got to get dressed first. My long johns. Well, with the tripod I can hold the camera far enough away. As you can see, all of the um, snow has kind of gone, washed away by the rain last night. It's not as cold today as Mark packing up over there. Yeah, it's not as cold. I'll put the jacket on in a minute though. It's still a bit chilly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just um, going to pack away the tents. They're a bit wet. So I'm thinking of putting the inner separate and um, put the outer in the bag like the stuff sack bags, so uh, try and keep them separate a bit, make it a bit easier for drying when I get home. I haven't dried last week's tent yet, it's so big. <laughs> Mark's putting his wonder bra on. <laughs> Getting to that age now, I've got to keep them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's raining. Oh, I don't say that, the camera's oh. out. Well, we've both run inside our tents, I think we're going to have to wait a minute before we uh, properly pack away. Right guys, it's absolutely pouring down. <laughs> I've had to put the camera away. Um, no fancy walking away shots or anything. I just like to say thank you for watching. And we've got to walk on. Thanks for cooking again, Andy. Oh yes. Check out HelloFresh, deals down below. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. <laughs>